Hey everyone, welcome back to the place we are testing every single mask in the world and I am super excited today to test the Apple mask. Blammo, that's right. That's my, my new catchphrase. I'm workshop my catchphrase. Um, the Apple actually makes a face mask, which is, uh, you know, really cool uh, because they make iPhones and so they're like, hey, we make things, why shouldn't we make masks? Uh, I, uh, what I heard is the iPhone team designed it and the reason why was they, they started doing it right at the peak of the pandemic when you couldn't get masks at all. So they were like, hey, we have Apple stores, we have employees, we want to protect them. What if we designed a completely new type of mask? So they, what they did is they took a KF94 type style mask and they completely redesigned it. It's a single piece of fabric. It's got these like cool little cinched ear loop things. So it can be like one size fit all. Huge area for breathability. Um, but it is a little constricting uh, on the breathability front. And it's a type of fabric. It's like a piece of paper. I've never seen fabric. One single layer. I'm not sure why they went with that. Probably because it was like, hey, that'll be cooler. I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's get this in the clamp machine and get it tested and see how this guy does. We get it, Apple. You can make iPhones, but can you make a mask? Designed uh, by Apple in California, assembled in China. Now, what's cool is uh, the fabric, which is actually, this is actually just a piece of paper. It's not the mask, but it's, it looks like it's made of uh, the same material. Um, the mask uh, fabric is actually made here in the United States. And then it's kind of like in a role reversal, <laughs> it's shipped over to China uh, and assembled. So that's actually telling the truth there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show the machine live here. We'll do this live because I don't have a website to show um, because you can't buy this. It's just for Apple's employees. Uh, so what's interesting is the airflow resistance is really huge. So this single layer is like really, really hard to breathe through. In fact, that's so high, that's above the N95 standards. The N95 standard is 250 pascals. This is almost 300, 300 pascals. That's a lot of pascals. Joke in there somewhere. Um, and the efficiency is still climbing, it looks like. So, uh, you know, epidemiologists say that you should have a mask that is above 80% filtration efficiency. Um, and this one at, at a minimum, and this one is climbing uh, to be above that. Um, the test will be done in just about 20 seconds here. So I'm not sure. I haven't really seen a lot of Apple employees wearing this. Um, I'm not sure if they, this is something they're, they're using. I do know they're not selling this mask. Um, and it is like a, it's a really interesting piece of material. Oh my gosh. Look at 375. That is way outside of standard. And it could be because I've tested this twice that we're loading it with NACL. That may actually be a part of uh, this. They say you can wash this thing uh, five times and it will maintain 90% efficiency. That's what I heard and it just did hit that. So there you have it, 90.119. Uh, super, super hard to breathe through, uh, but good filtration efficiency. <clears throat> now that the market has kind of responded, uh, personally, I, I would choose like a, you know, a can 95 if that's all you can find, but there are plenty of N95s available. Like if I was an Apple employee indoors uh, at an Apple store, I would probably choose one of those over this, but you know, your mileage may vary. It's a free world out there, people, at least in the United States. All right, thank you so much for watching this, and uh, I hope to catch you guys on the next episode.